Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so today's look is being brought to you by the beautiful beaches of Florida. <laughs> no, but seriously, you guys. This look was created by some brand new loose pigments that my girl DJ from DJ's Unique Boutique is dropping on May the 1st, okay? It's a bundle of six loose pigments. There are three shimmery pigments and three matte pigments. As you can see here, the colors are absolutely gorgeous. And she did state that they are inspired by the beaches of Florida, which is where she's from. And they're absolutely gorgeous, you guys. As you can see, each container has a sifter for easy dispensing. And this is what the pigments look like. I absolutely love this color story. It definitely says beautiful beach, sandy shores, everything that she wanted to convey with this collection, I think that she did. Now you can pick up this whole bundle of six for $24, like I said, on May 1st. And I think if you like loose pigments, you're absolutely gonna love these. So if you wanna see how I created this look, let's just jump right in. So I'm starting out with my P. Louise base today, just using a brush to apply that all over my lids. I myself am still kind of getting familiar with loose pigments, so I'm not sure exactly what my favorite base is to use, but the P. Louise works nicely for me. So I'm starting out with a gorgeous matte blue, and this one is called Make Some Waves. She has some really cute names for these shadows as well. But I'm just taking a small fluffy brush, as you can see, blending that out in my crease area. Just also getting familiar with these pigments. This is my first time using these. And for today's look, I'm actually kind of dragging it out a bit because I do want it to have like a nice kind of dramatic wing type shape. And as you can see, this pigment very, very nicely pigmented. <laughs> so next I'm going into the matte teal shade, which is called Beach Bum. And I'm just using a very small amount of that to kind of blend out the edge of that blue. I wanna add that aspect of green, but since it is a dark shade as well, I'm just going in very, very lightly just to add a bit of green to this crease area. So now as you can see, I'm going in with a clean brush still a small fluffy brush but i'm just using that to really soften the edge of that green don't want any harsh lines up there but i do want a nice bold crease so i'm just softening up that edge now to clean off my lid i'm going in with some micellar water and a q-tip and i'm just kind of carving out the cut crease for this eye look using that cleaning off my lid. I don't always do this, but you know, a lot of times if I am using a dark crease color and I don't want it to mix with my white base, I do go ahead and clean off my lid. So I'm going in with my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas, taking a flat shader brush. And as you can see, I'm just kind of gently tapping down the shape that I want for this cut crease. The same area that I cleaned off with the micellar water, dragging that out and just trying to be as neat as possible for this cut crease. Since I am using loose pigments, I am going to be very, very precise with my placement. So that's what I did for the cut crease. And as you can see, I'm just kind of cleaning it up a bit on that outer corner. Now, the first shade I'm going into for this cut crease is a matte shade. It's the matte coral that she has in her collection. It's called Chase the Sun absolutely gorgeous i love this shade you guys it's really really pretty and as you can see very pigmented as well just taking my time tapping that down on that white base now what i love about these pigments is that they are super smooth i mean really smooth nicely pigmented and easy to work with so that's that coral shade Next, I'm going into a shimmery pigment, which is the shimmery gold that she has called Sand Sea Happy Me. <laughs> now, I was shocked when I placed that down because I really didn't expect it to be so pigmented and so opaque. I mean, I actually had to really 
tap a lot off of my brush so that I can go in and blend it into that coral shade. But yeah, this one, very, very pigmented, very bold, very gorgeous. Now I'm just going back in with what's left over on that brush that had the coral and making sure to blend those edges so they're nice and smooth and seamless. Very, very easy to do, no problems. And lastly for this cut crease, going into the shimmery blue shade, so pretty it's called don't worry beach happy <laughs> i love these names but this shade gorgeous as you can see extremely pigmented which you know that's to be expected with loose pigments but trust me i have played with other loose pigments and they're nowhere near as easy to use as these are these are so easy i definitely would suggest if you're thinking about getting your feet wet with loose pigments try these because these are very easy to work with and they're absolutely gorgeous so this is the look i am adding some lashes of course with this bold cut crease i do want to add a nice big beautiful bold lash and i'm just going in with some of my maybelline sky high mascara to kind of blend my own lashes in with these gigantic lashes that i'm putting on <laughs> but i think they look nice with this eye look so for my lips today i'm just going in with my bff4 lip liner i am going in what lipstick is this oh this is one of my cat suit lipsticks from wet and wild oh my gosh i haven't used this in a long time and i'm topping that off with some of my fenty gloss balm and i think that this little coral lip goes well with this cut crease now for my lower lash line decided to keep it kind of simple i'm just going in with a really pretty blue liner you know with the whole beach theme i just kind of wanted to add the ocean on the bottom <laughs> adding more mascara to my lower lashes uh, to go ahead and complete this eye look but yeah you guys this is <laughs> the look that i created with these pigments as you can see honestly it was really super easy to do like i said these pigments super duper easy to use perfect for a beginner i think definitely check them out on dj's website it will be in my description box below i do have a code for you to save money but thanks so much you guys for watching and i will see you on the next one toodles <laughs>